Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Winlater Mali which is the Winlater Mali Glipsy version now this is a massive update in terms of windows emulation on low end android devices which have Mali GPU for example the device which i am using for today's video is the Redmi K50i with Mali G610 GPU and only 1.5 GB of available ram well Winlater Mali is the fork version of Winlater Android which is specially created for Mali GPU android devices and you guys will be able to read that Turnip DXVK and other things are not supported. It only has Wine D3D and Virgil support. Remember, only games with DirectX 9 and below are supported, and DirectX 10, 11, 12, etc. have no chance of running. And Virgil is universal, means that no matter which your processor might be, for example, MediaTek, Exynos, etc., it is going to run. With that being said, right here is the latest version of WinLater Mali, which has updated Glipsy version. As you all know, WinLater Glipsy was recently introduced and it improved performance of WinLater Android by quite a lot compared to the normal versions and Glipsy support on Mali GPU Android devices means that you might possibly get better performance just like the normal Glipsy version. Original Wine D3D 4.18 has been added, updated game presets, fixed black screen issue on Skyrim, easy direct text setup has been added, improved performance on Pirut build and much more. So right here I have already loaded the WinLater Mali Glipsy version on my Redmi K50i. Let's just go ahead and open it and tap on the allow option. Now the setup process will be similar to that of WinLater normal version but the container settings will be much different. The developer of Winlater Mali has created multiple presets so that we can run our desired game properly. I'll be showing you guys all of that so before getting started hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest emulation videos and we are very close to reaching 100k subscriber on this channel so please hit that subscribe button and help me reach this goal. With that being said there we go the loading is complete let's just go ahead and open the settings option and here box 64 version set it as 0.3.0 preset you can set it to performance once that has been done simply tap on the tick mark option and as this is the fork version of winlater glipsy you guys will be able to see the content section is present along with box 64 rc file but none of those matter because we are using winlater on a mali gpu android device so if we start by creating a brand new container let's just go ahead and set the screen size as 854 by 480 16 is to 9 aspect ratio wine version is the latest wine 9.16 custom a uh, graphics driver is only one available which is the Virgil 23.1.9 it is also pretty stable DX wrapper which we'll be using is Wine D3D strictly afterwards we'll just go ahead and enable show FPS once that has been done video memory size will set it to 4 GB afterwards go to advanced section and here make sure to enable uh, startup selection as aggressive and once that has been done simply tap on the tick mark option and our container will be successfully created the next step will be to simply tap on the run button and start our wine container now the starting process may take some time depending on your device and it is usually recommended that if you want to try out some games on a mali gpu android device you should at least have dimensity 7000 plus processor this device in fact has dimensity 8100 processor to start off for today's video we'll be testing out grand theft auto 4 yep as it is a directx 9 game it can be tried out on mali gpu android devices so i'll just go ahead and tap on the start option afterwards go to game preset and you'll notice that there are so many game presets that have been created by developer it is very useful and huge props to the developer i am really looking forward to the future of this project nonetheless as we'll be trying out gta 4 we'll be using the gta preset which the developer has pre-created afterwards it will take some time to be set up it will automatically add uh, the appropriate version of virgil along with that wine d3d version etc once that has been done make sure to tap on the start option once again go to this section right here then go to extras and here make sure to add two things the first is directx 2010 afterwards we'll need to add nvidia physics so let me just go ahead and add both of these it is pretty simple you just tap on it and yeah let the setup to be completed and i have to say this compared to all versions of winletter android this is super fast like it is very easy to run and it is very responsive on my android device afterwards we'll need to go to system tools wine configuration and make sure to set the windows version as windows 10 so that has been already applied in this version we don't need to worry about it so what are we waiting for let's just go ahead and try out gta 4 on my mali gpu android device to see if it actually works or not we'll also go to input controls and make sure to enable virtual gamepad and here we go guys looks like the game is about to start we are seeing a black screen it can be either good or bad and show fps option has been enabled but still i am unable to see any fps bar at the top left corner now this black screen might be there for few seconds or few minutes depending on your device specification 
so it is recommended that you wait but if you are unsure if your game is starting or not you can indeed go to task manager and see if the game task is right here now currently no items to display means that the emulator might have crashed so we'll need to restart our emulator and restart the game so yeah guys even after changing the on screen rendering mode and resetting the settings to default we are still seeing a black screen while testing out gta 4 now on this device specifically i have tried out multiple games and currently i am trying out assassin's creed as you guys will be able to see right here and still i am seeing a black screen not only assassin's creed but let's say i want to try out gta san andreas or y city by the way i am reapplying the configuration for gta game so i'll simply press the ok button and double tap on gta y city you will notice that when this game opens even it will be on a black screen so i am not really sure why this is happening now it might specifically be because of my device not being supported inside of the winlater mali i have tried out various versions of winlater with mali gpu android devices previously and all of these games used to render properly but at least on my redmi k50i it's not working so if the developer is watching today's video then please let me know in the comment section down below what's actually gone wrong am i using wrong settings or anything like that anyways that was an abrupt end to today's video if i manage to do get it fixed then i'll make sure to upload a gameplay test where i'll be testing out all the games that i have already loaded on my android device for that be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification anyways i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye